so many of us right now have not achieved our fullest potential because somebody spoke that into existence. It's not that God designed you that way, but somebody said, you've done some fool, boy. And then you grow up as a done some fool, boy. Because the world First and foremost, I would have to give thanks to Rev. Michael Akins from a younger age, giving me the opportunity to be a member of the Victory Academy where I develop the basic and physical skills to endure in the world. So I will not return to this is a collaboration of pastors, police, youth and youth. In fact, I'm already youth writers are right now. Uh, social workers, nurses, community advocates, principals, and anybody in Buff Bay who really wants to see Buff Bay united for life. All right? So that's the main practice. It, we hang out together and it teaches us right from wrong and help us to be a better person in society. Well, Mr. Michael Aiken has been, you know, one of the most influential persons in my life. You know, it's temptation I face growing up without a mom. My dad was hardly around because of work. So I had to be a man really early. He teaches about the Lord. Michael Lakin has been like a role model from day one, where he teaches us oh, the basics to football, which has developed our talent from a tender age up till now. He's an educator. He has, he has done so many things for this community. Well, he is like his father. His father was a community man. He had the footsteps of his father. He helped me in a lot of ways just by talking to me, encouraging me. You know what I mean? Right now I'm married and he's the one that encouraged. Mm. He, he will go in any inner city community, in any district, and he is not afraid to stand and talk and speak and call and name things as they are. God has placed in all of us some greatness that must come out, but we keep stopping the coming out because we keep destroying each other verbally, physically, and sexually. And they killed my daddy, and they are threatening people. And they're, they're cursing bad words of their people, and they are tra they are tracing people to kill. Somebody trouble you, and you get upset, and you plan to like stab them, shoot them, or do anything, or chop them. But uh, you might have a, a disagreement with someone. Most times, you are threatening in this in this parish, personal character threats. That means you can be either chopped up. Probably some of us end up dead, some to jail if you're lucky, <laughs> but most of the time you end up dead. I, I could have dead that night. He looked and you said, you know, what are you really doing? Is it yeah. worth it? Is it really worth it? Right. You're here and you just, someone kill you just like that. Is it really worth it for living the wrong way, the wrong life? Recently we had the death of a young person that was killed by another young person. It has been said that it has to do with gang related issues because of lack of parenting. These are the reasons why most of these persons, they turn to gang to assist them by feeding them, by clothing them. And you know, they want that motherly love, they want that fatherly love. So they tend to find it in the gang. So we know that sports and music will be a, a vehicle to, 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 to sort of out these youngsters. Emiliano Echo is a student intern here with a company called Artist Research and Risk Department. They look at issues of crime and violence. In Reverend A cannot come in as our mediator or a person that we can make a referral to assist our troubled youth. This is where they come and they can get some time to vent what is inside and you know to give them that opportunity to, to be leaders.
so they can at, at one stage we will put them in your in charge. Government can them. step in, build more library, build street side library, mm. and educate the youth them. Let me tell you already, poverty breeds crime. Education is part of food. You teach me, you give me education, you give me food for life. People kill because not of not having education, they kill for getting money. I don't get the proper education and that's the reason why I am struggling right now. A guy from some past argument over the years hide behind shop and chuck me as I walk by. It's all right. My past life is that um, you would you never know what tomorrow brings. But after yeah. being around Mr. Eakins and we move from that life, and I'm asking you, please, just let this one go. Thinking twice, so I think the wrong first thing the right come to your mind, sir. So you yeah, well, uh, just walk away from each other. Over the years, is asking hmm. some young males to follow me. So if I go preach at a church, they come with me. If I go preach on a political platform, they come with me. He has helped me get into college. And you know, now I'm a graduate of the Midland Bible Institute where I study theology. So now I'm here just helping the youths again, giving back what I've received over the years. Adults and other children, will his future be as peaceful as he sleeps right now? Will he experience what other children have in countries that have fallen apart simply because of the constant abuse and disregard for life? Precious little ones like Tyree, who was so viciously abused just eight weeks ago. His restoration will take a little bit more time, I'm sure, but he's doing well right now. Much hope. Very happy child. And maybe that's just what's in store for him. A really good life, as God wills. Because I am strong. Oh, you're strong. Oh, so you're one of the tough guys. So what made you so tough and strong? Like you grew up and learned to be strong? No, I may go out of iron. All right, you're made out of iron. Being a male, so being a male is a matter of birth. A matter of birth. Being a man, being a man is a matter of choice. A matter of choice. I, choose I choose to be a man. Touch me, a man. So, and a man is strong physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. He will be counting, counting on, on us. Now, he mm. has been a very positive and very potent role model. I have seen young persons who would have otherwise gone into crime. I have seen them so attached to him. He uses his truck that he has. He'll pick them up. He'll take a number of them, even 20 of them at a time, to go do football. If he was not um, doing all that he has been doing for the many years, we would have a much higher crime level in Buffy, the work that he has put in for the past, past possible 15, 20 years, it has borne fruit in many ways and transformed just about any community. He has, is like he was born for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Emiliano, thanks for being here, man. Nine weeks has gone by really quickly. I uh, hope you had fun, hope you had a great time, hope you also took the time to grow in some way as you took part in this artist's experience. Bye. Sayonara. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye.